Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is your friendly neighborhood farmer Raznak. We are back on Beaver Creek and today is the day. Straw Harvest is here for 2019. FS19 now has Straw Harvest and with that we're going to be making some pellets today. So what we have to do is I got to cut the grass. Now the grass isn't 100% ready. And uh by that I mean it is, well look, I'll show you. I'll show you what's going on here. I mean that it is, uh, let's go, it's yellow. It's not orange. So it has one more stage of growth. But it is late summer. So it's going to take two more in-game days for this to change over. And then it'll be first to fall. And if I cut it, it won't grow back again. So I'm, I'm hoping that if I cut it now, I get this kind of partial cut that has some decrease in yield I'll get another cut in the fall that's my plan I hope it works out we'll find out what happens but that is definitely the plan so we're gonna do some mowing I'm gonna get all this stuff mowed up and we're gonna get it loaded into the loading wagon and then we're gonna put it in the hay dryer until the hay dryer is full and then from there We'll probably just leave it in the field and let it dry um, if if we don't have enough room in the hay dryer. I think we have plenty of room in the hay dryer though. The hay dryer will hold a lot and it processes it so as it dries it makes room for more stuff. But that's my plan at least. And then after that we're going to be taking the hay out of the hay dryer. We're going to be putting it into the straw harvest equipment which we will talk about when we get there then from there we will be um, selling the pellets now I had to do little tweaks to the map because as it sits right now when, whenever you get straw harvest I'll just go ahead and pull it up whenever you get straw harvest it comes with this little sell point here the pallet sell point and here you can sell pellet pallets for a higher price than as bulk material the, the thing is is if the map the, the map doesn't automatically accept bulk material. So in my testing, I tested on Ravenport with no mods, is you ha you can't sell the pellets anywhere in bulk form. You can't, there's nowhere to put them. So if you put the pallet sell point down, you can sell both bulk and pallets at the pallet sell point. Well, I thought, well, eh, that's kind of weird. I don't like that. So what did I do? I got creative and I went into the XML of this map. So you're going to have to do this on an individual basis or until someone uh, creates a mod that has a placeable cell point with the fill type built into it. So what I did is I actually added hay and straw pellets as a sellable item at the port farm sales. That's what I did there. And then later on, when I get the pallet uh, haul for... Um, straw harvest which again I'll show you it's not under silos is it I have so many mods in this so sorry I had to find all this stuff it's probably under sheds yep there it is so you have pellet haul where here you can just store bales bulk material park your vehicles this is the pellet haul crane uh, which has just the crane but then here is the palletizer which this comes with uh, the crane and a palletizer to help it build pallets which are worth more than bulk material but you have to have four hundred thousand dollars to buy the building and we don't have four hundred thousand dollars as it sits right now just to get the baler or not I call it a baler but the pellet pelletizer we'll go over here real quick I'll show you we have um, a couple different items we have the crone comprima the big pack the bail collector this right here the primos 5000 so i need 320000 and I, so i need 351900 dollars just to make pellets and that's not counting buying um i have to buy i don't need nets because i'm not going to be bailing any bales with this stuff this is if you get the crone balers you have to reload the um, either twine or the bale net. So twine is for square balers, 
bill nets for round. But the Primos takes molasses, which you have to put in. And I'm pretty sure it takes molasses and water. That's right. Uh, then, of course, you get these bale grabs, which are pretty cool. This big one here. Yep, so this one takes net. That one takes twine. Primos takes molasses and water, if I'm looking at that right. So we'll have to put water in there. Then, of course, the bale shredder just attaches to the Primos, and etc., etc., etc. But we'll look at each one of them. But, like I said, as it sits right now, we really just need to get this hay or this grass cut and put in the hay dryer so that we have hay to work. So that's my plan. That is my plan. I hope everybody is doing great. I've been doing well. I'm so excited for straw harvest. I really... I've been wanting to use it on this map. If you've followed the series, I've only talked about it probably 20 times. And this was my whole intention of building this sheep farm with the big grass fields. It's because the straw harvest was originally supposed to be out I thought back in January, but things get delayed. You know the best thing about straw harvest? It's free! That's right. It's free. You don't have to pay a dime for it. So we're going to spend all of our money <laughs> today. I'm going to be broke. In fact, I'm going to have to borrow some money. So we're going to have a loan for the first time on this map. But we should start raking in the money fairly quickly. Because I looked at the price per ton of those pellets, and it's, it's pretty good money. Make pretty good money. Now, I'm not quite sure what the yield is. I don't know if you have any loss. Uh, example, do I, if I put 4,000 liters of hay in, do I get 4,000 liters in pellets, or do I get 3,500 liters in pellets? You know, I don't know what the loss rate is, or if there is one. Then, of course, there's operating expense, because we have to connect that Primos to our big Terra Track. You need at least 350 horsepower to run that thing. And the only thing that I have that's 350 horsepower is the Terra Track. But I, I, at least I don't have to buy a new tractor. Just have to bring it over here. We'll be making uh, pellets just right here in the dirt for now. Of course, as I expand and as I make money, I'll eventually get the pellet haul. And that way we can make the pallets and sell those. I was very proud of myself for doing an XML edit and adding the fill type to the map. A year ago, I wouldn't have been able to have done that. Not at all. Not at all. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'll get this mode up and I'll talk to you in just a second. And I'm just mowing, and mowing, mowing, and mowing, mowing, mowing. Guess what? Still mowing, mowing, and not mowing. <laughs> We're done with the mowing. But what I do need is some go juice, and in the words of Millennial Farmer, some government juice, because my def is, I only have three and a half liters. It's at 15%. Fuel tank's a little less than half, so I'll just go ahead and fill that up and get some def, and then we'll do some wind rowing. In hindsight, I probably should have started this project in the morning instead of in the afternoon, because it's already 7 p.m. And I'm afraid that I might run out of daylight before I get all the grass picked up. Let's see what happens. I mean, I don't mind working in the dark, but... See what happens! Alright, so. Uh... Let's put our mowers away. See, so we got all that mode. We got the big field mode. A ready to rock. I got some straw there. I got a silage bale. It's just a stray one. I'll have to sell it here at some point. I'm not too worried about it right now. This, um,. Bicon mower has like this green buildup on it, which I think is pretty cool, but the green color is just a little too bright. It's still cool. It has a you know dirt texture, but it's not dirt; it's green. But just something different. Where is our wind rower? We got our big Lely here. 
First things first, though. Let's put some go juice and some government juice in this thing. What's this millennial farmer say? Dinosaur bones. I think that's what he calls, <laughs> he calls diesel. If I remember right. I can't remember. Something like that. Alright. There's a def can here somewhere. Here's our def. Still have 18.58 liters left. Now, we shall grab Wind Rover. We should make short work of this little field, but probably all of them with the Wind Rover, because this is the big one. This is the big, big rower. Big rower. Do I have... I think I have my volume way down. Let's see. Oh, that's why. I'm like, why am I, Why is my tractor so quiet? That's the whole fun of Farm Sim, is to hear your tractor noises. All the vehicle noises and all that stuff. That's the best part of Farm Sim. In my humble opinion, that is. the wind row in and we get the loading wagon which we still just have the small loading wagon that's all right because we're going to do some expanding soon once we start getting some money and uh i want to buy like i want a big m or a big set of butterflies maybe the cloth ones because i haven't used them yet put them on the terror track oh with the terror track that'd be fun then I'd like to get a bigger loading wagon. You know, stuff like that. Maybe we can get away from the round bales and get into square bales? Maybe? I don't know. Round bales don't bother me too much. Square bales, are, it's just faster. It's more efficient. This is the... be the technical term for it. More efficient. So I kind of have two of these build-your-own farm series going on. I have this Beaver Creek and then another one on No Man's Land, and that is a multiplayer. So far, I've been really, really happy on that map. It's been a lot of fun, and Alien Jim did a great job on it. This map, Beaver Creek, has been a blast. I think... I don't, I th I don't know. I know I'm going to finish the year on here. But I need to start thinking about maybe moving on to a different Let's Play. I don't know. Maybe not. It's just when you get when you get into a map, kind of, there's a lot of stuff I want to play, but I haven't been able to yet. Then again, I mean, it's a map. You do the same stuff, just a different different look to it. So. Maybe I probably won't play something until it's kind of changes how the game is played, maybe a little bit. I've thought about maybe doing like a production style map, but that's kind of what this is. And I mean, production maps are fun for a while, but then it just feels like all you're doing is hauling pallets around. You know, you take this pallet to this, or you know, it just seems to be a lot of the mundane movement of goods. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Oh, I've made a mess. It's kind of hard not to do. Yeah, I, don't, I, I think I'm going to run out of daylight. Because I have to windrow both these fields and then I have to pick them up with a loading wagon. Hmm. Wondering. I should just grab the loading wagon. Tell you what, let's merge this all into one big giant windrow. Look at the size of that thing. It's massive. The tractor wouldn't even be able to drive over it. But we already have the windrow attached. So let's go over here and we'll windrow this other field. I'll be back with the loading wagon. 
to start getting this stuff loaded up. Actually, what I'm going to do real quick is I'll grab the loading wagon here. Get this field done real quick. I don't know how my loading wagon got turned sideways unless I bumped into it. I don't remember bumping into it. I've noticed there are a couple objects in this game they'll move when you load them in. Here and there, they'll kind of like move sporadically. This is just a little tiny loading wagon. It's perfect for like this field right here, but it's probably going to be like 20 trips up on the big field. I don't like missing spots, so my OCD kicks in and I'm like, no, you can't miss it. I love this stuff. What we got? 29.6 hours on the class. It's a lot of hours for me. Usually I change stuff pretty quick. I, I get bored easy. But I'm trying to make a commitment to sticking with the map for a while. And uh, being less impulsive. Let's see, how many tons does this thing hold? 8.22 tons. Now, I remember right, it's been a few episodes since I've used this thing. No, we want that open. There we go. We want that open, the machine dryer on. And then if we have grass bales, we can put them here. Yeah, if we have grass bales, we can put them here, which we don't need that. We just need this thing here. We need this machine working. That's what we want. We want a place to dump it. Then it will dry, and it will turn into wondrous hay for us all. Let's see what it looks like. This is a global company mod, so you have to have a global company script enabled just to work. Which a lot of mods are global company enabled. Which is unfortunate in a way, but it seems like a lot of people are finding workarounds. They're kind of creating their own scripts to make stuff like that work. Things are working. Yeah, so that's my plan. What we'll do is we'll get all this grass picked up. I'm not going to torture you with it. Uh, unless I run out of space. If I run out of space, I'll cut away and let you know that I've ran out of space. And then in the morning, we're going to start making some pellets. And we're going to start looking at the straw harvest stuff and how it works. Seeing how much money we can make off of our hay fields, which I'm thinking is going to be quite a lot. Now... I know with the Primos um, from 17, you can pull this in the field. I mean, this has a pickup here on the field, so you can pull this and man and you know pick up your your hay, and it'll make hay pellets. But this isn't hay; it's grass, and it's going to be a while before it turns into hay. Let me look. Yeah, my crop moisture is 34 percent. I mean, you're talking days before this stuff turns into hay. So that's why we're going to pick it up, put it in the hay dryer, which will do all the work for us because we spent the money on it. And then we can just take the bales out of the hay dryer, load them onto the conveyor belt for the Primos, and make hay pellets. Or at least that's my plan. See how well it works when I see you again. All right, see you guys in just a second. It is here. The time has arrived. The stars are aligned. The planets are in motion. And the gods of grass have bestowed upon us the greatness that is the straw harvest add on. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little over dramatic for you. It is time for the straw harvest add on. Now, in this episode, 
We've been cutting grass, we've been putting it in the dryer, we've been doing all that stuff. Now we're going to put that grass to use. We're going to pop out some bales from the hay dryer. We're going to start shredding this stuff. We're going to start making pellets. Now, it has come to my attention that straw harvest has some issues with seasons. I, nobody really knows what it is. Uh, some people say it's the semi-dry hay. I don't know. Other people say it's like the Primos when the fill percentage is over 5%. I don't know. I'm not getting into all that. But apparently there's supposed to be a fix. And I've downloaded the fix from the... Uh, it's a beta release. A public beta for the fix for Straw Harvest. And you can get it over at the GitHub for Creative Mesh. Um... I can put a link in the description down below. You guys probably will all have this by the time you read it. But long story short, it's supposed to fix that problem. I haven't tested it yet, so we're going to find out. We're going to find out if it keeps working, if if it doesn't you know, blow up our game, etc. So first things first, we need to buy the Primos. Eventually, I want to get these balers. I'm, I'm going to go away from the round baler. We're gonna start stop doing round bales, just because it came. I, the this doesn't support round bales, and I have a bunch of round bales and straw, so I'm gonna have to bust those up and somehow, somehow, um, use the Primos to turn those into straw pellets because I have tons of straw and I don't need it all, or I may just sell the bales and then start bailing in squares. I'm not quite sure. Anywho, we need the Primos, and we're gonna refill supplies manually. Cause we like to torture ourselves and boom three hundred and twenty thousand dollars gone just like that and i have to borrow money because i have to buy the other part of this the bale shredder because i don't have money for the bale shredder so for the first time ever in this series i've borrowed money let's buy that and while we're at it we need a pallet of molasses was that 480 liters? Will that fill? That'll fill, yeah. So, there we go. We have all of our stuff. It should be right there. It is. Look at it in all of its beauty. Stuff does look really, really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Primos. Primos 5000 by Crone. Very, very cool. This yellow arrow has to be pointing I think here if I remember right or can you put it on either side I can't remember we'll try we'll try we'll find out here in a second what my frame rate is a little it's probably because they're there's they're making grapes over there way over there and those grapes really come and then the molasses all right so then we need water but we can get water from the farm Let's go ahead and connect here. If you haven't seen this yet, definitely, definitely worth grabbing. It's really cool. Look at the hoses all attached. Very, very nice. Very beautiful mod. And then I think I have to we'll find out. Let's see here. First of all, let's just fill this up with the molasses. And it's like anything else. You get up next to the pellet. Get R to fill. So we have some extra left over. That's all right. We'll come down to the shop and get it later. So this thing is slow. It doesn't work fast. But um, should help us generate pretty good income. Like I said earlier, I built into the cell point. All right, so it won't. It doesn't attach to this side. I, it might have to be that side over there. The more I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure it does. So let's swing our Primos around. This thing's huge. I'm happy we have the big Terra Track because you have to have 300 ho you have to have 300 horses. There you go, and that attaches there, and then we are off to home. But does it have a does it have beacon lights on it? No, no beacon lights. It does have your your hazards? And it does have, uh, you can see it has uh, where the rear, rear wheels will turn. Like depending on how 
Hang on, let me fix my steering wheel here so you can see what I'm talking about. See how the rear, they, the rear wheels kind of move to help uh, increase your turning radius? That's a nice touch. All right. I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to drive this back to the farm, and then we're going to get set up. Start making some pellets. And we are back. Now, we have to figure out how we want to set this up. And I think what I'm going to do, because um, the, the hay spawns right there when we take it out, what I'm going to do is I don't want to want to spend tons of time driving around and doing all that kind of stuff so what I think I'm gonna do is considering there's never any traffic on these roads it's just a little old me I think what we're gonna do is we're going to unfold our bale shredder here the hay dryer is still kicking along over there show you we have a lot of grass in there I've got 477,000 liters of grass we have 269,000 liters of hay this thing's kind of slow but we should be good for a while now that is all set up Let's put the pipe out here that's the only thing is I wish the shredder and the that were on different sides It'd be nice if it was Go ahead and kill the engine there. Now, that's all set up. Now, where is my little my little handy dandy cloths? Where are you at? Oh, you're up here. Well, you're coming with me, boss. I guess I I was probably up here feeding the horses. Yep. This is our handy our little handy cloths. Oh, I probably now do I have a bigger trailer? Is that the biggest trailer I have? Because I might need to just bring that trailer down with me. I have the Marshall one. Or should I buy something for the the truck to pull? That'd probably be better. Because we're going to have potatoes. We're going to have all kinds of stuff soon. Let's see what I got. What do I got here? Got this big semi tipper deal. I like these T Rex shuttles though, but they won't hold anything. Which is kind of frustrating. I wanted to use them for potatoes, but they don't hold any of that stuff. They just hold like grass and all that kind of stuff. So I have that Marshall. I need something that holds pellets. The big crampy does, but man, I'd have to borrow another $78,000. I just don't want to borrow money. We have the trailer. Let's use the one we got. I know it's small. It's only 8,000 liters, but it's what we have. It's what we'll use. Until we get more money. And then as we get more money, we'll get a bigger trailer. That's, I mean, that's all I can do. I don't want to borrow money. I'm, I, I'm in this, in these this experience I just don't want to it just makes the I don't know the the ability to borrow so much money makes the game so easy because the penalty for borrowing money is very little I mean the rate interest rates like you don't get billed hardly anything you, you owe like three hundred thousand dollars and every night at midnight you get billed like fifteen hundred bucks it's I don't know to me it's just it's very unrealistic very unrealistic I don't know about you guys, but if you borrow three hundred thousand dollars, you're gonna be uh, paying some money. Especially a small like I don't know agriculture loans. I don't know what the interest rates are. Let's see. We'll get over here. Then we'll have our little trailer. I hope this works, please. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna cry. I hope this uh, the fix. I, so I downloaded it. I downloaded this uh, public um, beta fix or what I can't remember what it was called. And uh, I downloaded it. It's like update number twenty six or something like that on the GitHub. So we're gonna test it out. I think what we'll do is we'll just park our trailer under there. Right? Might as well. I love how everything kind of matches. It's all green. <laughs> Everything's green. So what we have to do 
So we have to turn our tractor on. And before we do that, my tractor is about out of gas. So let me get some fuel in this bad boy real quick. And then we'll start making some pellets, I hope. And turn the blinkers off. They're fun for a while, then after a while it's like give myself a seizure. Yeah, I think we're going to have to get rid of the class uh, round baler. We're going to have to go with a square baler. And I think I'm going to use the the big one from the pack in here. The big chrome baler. Because you can refill it. It takes, you have to buy the twine rolls. Just something else. It, it makes the game the harder it is, the better it is. Oh, and we slammed into it. Alright, so that's on. Let's turn on our pellet harvester. Oh, I gotta put water in it first. Oh, Raz, you're silly. Come on, Raz. Get with the program. Sorry, peoples. But you will watch me struggle. Oh. That took the trailer with me. All right, let's go get some water real quick. And luckily, I have some just right over here. I was I had the joy of testing this with Farmer Klein on his live stream. I had a lot of fun, and I learned a lot about using it. We learned some of the things that can and cannot do. Will not take round bales. Round bales are not supported. Um, it will not... You can't use the in-game water tank to fill it. You have to use a fill point or I'm assuming probably the universal tanks, but I haven't tried. Pretty much you need a tank that has like an overloading option, probably. So we'll pull up here. Fill this with water. And our beautiful farm here. Isn't this place awesome? I love this map. I love it. Almost wanna, like there's a part of me is just like, eh, let's just restart and build something all completely new, but I'm not gonna do that. My next Let's Play is going to be on a map that's already built. Between this and No Man's Land, I'm, uh, I think I've had, and maybe even you have had the fill of me building everything. I would like to find a map that's uh, very difficult to play, and, and it makes you use smaller equipment, so probably one of your, uh, one of your uh, UK-style maps, or... Uh, European style map, something with uh, you know smaller fields, but you know just different th different things like that. All right, let's unfold this again. Now that we have water, and now that we have molasses, and now that we're all set up, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Maybe unfold. I did unfold the bale shredder. All right, there it is. It's a running, so let's jump on it. And the, as long as I stay within distance, the tractor shouldn't turn off. But you know what I want to do? I want to straighten this up a little so that I have a little bit better angle to get in there. This terror track's big. There we go. And then what we'll do here? Is, where's that at? There it is. Hey. Should have two bales of hay. Where's the other one? There it is. We should be good to go. I'm hoping. Let's see if this works. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. 617 pounds of hay. Now this thing can be a little wonky when you're loading it. It'll like toss your bale off. I don't know why. So what I'm going to do is have the easy unload bale forks. And there it goes. See, it like grabs them. But then it, when it gets close, it won't work correctly. So that maybe that will work. All right. Come on, bale shredder. Make them pellets. You 
And you can see that thing is slow. Hopefully, here pretty soon, somebody will make a mod that, like, feeds that. That would be really cool. Like, uh, you would have to set it up. Now, eventually, I really want to get the pellet hall. And I'll put the pellet hall right over there. And our, we'll make pallets. And uh, that's how we'll haul our stuff to market, is by pallets. That's my plan. But that thing is $400,000 for that factory. So we're going to go up high. And what I'm going to do is just hit the easy unload bail for it. So you just drop it right on there. That way we don't cause any problems. Oh, here it goes. Is it working? Yes! We're making pellets! Ta-da! Alright, now. Let's see if it stops. Because what happened last night with Seasons is once that first bale is processed, it stops. So we'll see. Let's see what happens. I'm really, really curious to find out what happens here. Because if it if it stops, I'm I'm I, I'm just not gonna play with this until they fix it. I'll sell all this stuff, and then uh, go from there. So yeah, let's test it. Let's test it and find out. You know what? It's like the perfect perfect time for a amazing screenshot here. Is it working? Please work. Yes! It's working! Ha <laughs> ha! Success! We won. Well, we didn't win. The mod mod maker won. So, thank you guys so much. They, they did. They did a great job. Um, this is a beautiful screenshot right here. Look at this thing. Snap that in. Excellent. Alright. I tell you what. Let's get to work. What do you say? Let's turn this stuff back off. HUD state off. On. There we go. We need to uh, We need to get to work. Let's get a full trailer load, and then we'll go sell it and see how much money we made. E -e -e. Oh, the reason why it's not spawning is because I'm standing in the way. That's why. It's kind of finicky. All right. Yep, let's get a full trailer load of pellets, and we'll see how much money I can make. Right now, the skid steer would be really useful, because it's much more nimble. But we will use this guy for now. You can get about two two bales on here at a time. Uh, in playing around with it last night, if you uh, kind of have a bale that's feeding in, another one that's not. Like I said, I've had a couple of collision issues with this. That's why the easy unload bail forks are really, really handy. Is because you, uh, your, the bail physics don't get wonky on you. Like I said, something that has a nice turning radius would be really handy about right now. We'll use this. Oh man, I'm so stoked. You get to make we get to make pellets. Let's get this lined up. Yeah, you want it on straight because if it's off and it runs into any of the collisions on like the side of the machine that feeds like the feed housing and stuff like that, it won't work correctly. So Spawn a couple more bales. I, why is it only spawning one bale at a time? I don't. That I don't know. That doesn't make any sense to me. Whatever. Who am I? Now you get like a four to one ratio. We have found out last night. So you get about about really. It's more like nine hundred liters of pellets for four thousand liters of hay. But the price you get for pellets outweighs that loss. Clearly outweighs it. I mean, definitely. I'm going to try to spawn like a bunch of... spawn a bunch of hay. So... Spawn like ten of them. 
Yeah, see, it's not doing it. Makes no sense to me. It won't let me spawn, like, more than one at a time. Whatever. Go with that. Must be some weird collision going on or something. It's alright. Our little plan is working. Working flawlessly. This is so fun! I don't know, it's... It, people are like, Raz, you're just making pellets. I know I'm just making pellets, but this is a whole new way of playing the game. So, Oh, there it went. See, you can just see. So you got... I got too close to... It, it does that sometimes. It's really weird. Really, it, it acts strange, and if you... If you touch it with your forks, it shoots the stuff up in the air, and I don't know. It's kind of a pain, but I don't blame the mod. I blame Giant's bail physics for that. Because, man, the bail physics are just... I swear, I think they're worse. I personally think they're worse than 17. I think the bail physics, pallet physics, are much worse than 17. Such great footage, Raz. Just you playing in the trees. I'm trying to line up my forks so I can be nice and straight. So what I do is I get the easy unload pallet forks. They're very handy for this, and I know it's not realistic, but sometimes we have to play the way the game makes us, and then I just hit X and it drops it. And it works wonderful. The other you could use like the CSZ set, which auto loads the bale if you want to. That's another handy way of doing it. I'm pretty sure the CSZ has like it'll snap onto your forks, and then you can hit unload and it'll drop it. Handy, another handy way of doing it. And we are just cooking. Cooking when it comes to the pellets. So like I said, you want I want to get up higher above it where I miss the collisions. And then just drop, plop it right on there. Let's see. Let's see how many. Curious to see how many pellets we have up here. Let's see, we're at sixty-three percent by the ton. And if we look at the price, we get um, eight pellets. We get. $990.88 per ton. This thing probably is going to hold about 7 tons. So $7,000 a trailer. That's not bad for hay. Now, you do have to sell a lot of trailer loads to make, make it worth your while. Like I said, carting this all the way down to sell it is going to be kind of um, labor intensive with the small trailer, but as we make money We'll, um, I'll pay off the loan and I'll get a bigger trailer. Then I'll get another bigger trailer. You know, just keep expanding our operation. Eventually we'll park a truck underneath that bad boy. The big old trailer. Now I hope somebody mods some silos. I think that would be a really cool touch. If we can get some silos, some storage. See? And that's what happens. The and it may just be these forks. The in-game forks may not do that. Because we were using the easy unload bale forks last night with Farmer Klein too, so those may not do it, but I gotta what I have to do is make sure I'm high enough up. I don't hit the collisions of the equipment. And I know this is probably making all of you dizzy. And I apologize. Moving. It's not moving. Oh, it's glitching out. It's doing something weird. Yeah, let's see if we can get our handy dandy super strength to fix it. Oh, super like jumps strength. 
There it goes. Just had to bump it a little. I said it's the collisions are can be a little wonky at times. But, you know. It is a first release of the mod, and like a lot of mods, you could just go like super strength. Feed them all by hand if you wanted to. Do I have enough room? I should have enough room. Yep, there it goes. I should feed in. Oh, this is so cool. I just love when the game, when stuff is added to the game that it gives you something else to do. That's why I love stuff like this. Um, I love factories. I love productions. They're really cool, especially ones that are animated, um, like the ones I've reviewed in the past. They're very, very cool. This stuff is cool. I'm curious to see how modders take this, because this isn't locked. I don't think this is locked. This isn't a DLC. This is a pretty much a mod. So people will be able to get in there. They'll see the mechanics, how it works, and probably change some of the stuff up or create other machines that do similar stuff, but maybe with different products. Who knows? Who knows? What's really cool about this is it doesn't require a global company to work. It really doesn't. You have water, molasses, hay as inputs. And then you get a whole new fill type as an output. And I really like that. I really like that that doesn't, you know, so I'm hoping going forward we'll see more equipment that can produce products but doesn't require a global company. And I mean, it's not that I'm, I, I mean, I don't dislike global company, but they've done some stuff that's kind of, you know, they did, they did some Farmer Andy kind of wrong. And uh, did GTX kind of wrong, so you know they've they've been they've done some stuff that's not really cool. But they're great modders. Ellis Mod Company is awesome, but just because you're awesome doesn't mean you get to be a jerk. Oh, I think our is our um. So we'll go up high again. We don't want to run into the collisions. I've only said that. 500 times. Alright. And that's feeding. What I'm going to do is we're going to grab this trailer that is full. I'm curious to see how heavy it is. Because I have real weights on. Let me see what it does here. 6.61 tons. In there. It's not bad. And then this thing should be filling up. It is. Alright. What we'll do we're going to drive on... Well, I don't want to drive that way because that will take me over the mountain. We're going to drive down to the shop, to the dock, and sell our pellets and see how much money we get. I'll see you there. Alright. see if this works. Let's see if my modding skills are successful. We shall see. I, uh... Whoa. I need to put a weight on the front. <laughs> I got a little bouncy there. So I added the fill type to this uh, cell point over here on the side of the building here. Um, this is where you can sell a bunch of other farm products like milk and wool and eggs. and You can sell all your bales here, all that stuff. So we'll see. See if this works. Please work. Hey, pellets. Now, if you guys see, like, there's no... Oh, that's why. I'm like, where's the animation? It's because I have it set to the grain door. <laughs> Silly me. That's all right. It'll just take forever to unload. And why it does, I will talk about how much I have uh, been humbled lately by the growth of my channel. Man, I can't believe so many people have subscribed. So thank you guys so, so much. I really do appreciate it. Um... I, I, I couldn't believe it. See, $6,562 from the one load. Again, not bad money. Not bad money. That is only 8,000 liters, if I remember right. Yeah, that's the small trailer. It's only 8,000 liters. So, it's pretty good. I mean, that's, what, 900 and something dollars per thousand? It's pretty good money. That's way more than you'd ever get for hay. Definitely. But again, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If I did, if you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. If you have any questions about the Straw Harvest add-on, 
or need help with anything, don't be afraid to ask. Uh, the more I play with it, the more familiar I'll be with it. And if you run into any problems, I may be able to help you. So don't be afraid to ask. I don't mind to help. And until next time, everybody, stay safe. Thanks for watching. Sorry this was a long one. I know it was a little winded, but hopefully the end was worth it. Take care, guys.